you guys have seen some of my magic. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, had fun. If I did my job right, you were entertained and had a good time. If I really did my job right, then when you left, you were scratching your head going, how the heck did you do that? But what I do are just illusions. They're just tricks. It's not real magic. Only God can do real magic. Now, we've all heard the story about Adam and Eve and how they were created in God's image and they were born pure and without sin. We also know that that didn't last for a while and they were tempted and they sinned. Now, sin is like a lump of coal which can darken and burden our souls. When I was a little boy, I used to think that the way you got to heaven was by doing good deeds. So if I opened the door for a little old lady, if I helped raise money for, for a charity, then I would get closer to heaven. If I just showed kindness for those that were around me, I would get closer to heaven. But the Bible says sin is what separates us from the glory of God. So anytime we take something that's not ours, it separates us from the glory of God. Anytime we have impure thoughts, it separates us from the glory of God. Anytime we show meanness to those that are around us, it separates us from the glory of God. Anytime we don't follow the Ten Commandments, it separates us from the glory of God. So it doesn't matter how many good deeds we've done, the sin is still there. But this is where the real magic starts. God sent His only Son, Jesus, down to the earth to die on the cross to free us from our sins. And when we ask Jesus to come into our life, that's where things can really change. And it is our choice. Now we can't see Jesus. And we can't feel Jesus. But we know He's there. And so anytime we ask Him to come into our life, He will surround our lives and free us from our sins so that we can go into heaven and enjoy the richness Glory that is God.